So we're back at the gym. I'm gonna do about five minutes here on the bike. As you can see, I got full cycles going. Um, I'm about five and a half, roughly five and a half weeks out from my surgery. So the goal right now is to increase range of motion. Still, um, I got full flexion. We're about, uh, I would say 130 degrees of flexion and I got full extension and a little bit of hyper extension. So that's really good um, for the time frame that I'm in right now. Obviously not doing any plow metrics, but we are beginning to load the knee now and load the legs so I can build back up hypertrophy and again, increase the strength there going further. So I'm gonna do this for about five minutes. Then I'm gonna start my sled drags and then I'll be doing some of the groundwork that you'll see. And then I'll do some loaded variations. We may, we may squat today um, and I'm also gonna do some type of hinge pattern. So check it out. Right now, I'm just activating the hamstrings and I'm staying upright as I go to pull. I'm going heel toe, pulling and propelling myself forward with every step. Again, I'm just getting some muscle activation here in the hamstrings. I'm gonna do about 10 rounds of these, going down and back. And then I'm gonna go with a forward lean to get more knee flexion. I'm gonna drive through the ball of my foot I'm not gonna go slam down as, as hard as I can because I don't wanna make it too plyometric, but I am gonna get some muscle activation of the quads. You can see the scar on my right knee from Dr. Abasi. If you guys haven't checked out that video of me getting my whole knee fucking cut up. Check it out. It was so bad, DP couldn't even go back there. But God bless them for the edit. Again, the goal here is to get that flexion of the knee and that forward drive, kind of drive through with my quads here. So now I'm gonna get into the four-way straight leg raise. I have the BFR cuffs on, so the blood flow restriction. Uh, basically, I'm trying to trap that blood into the working tissue. It's going to help me gain more hypertrophy with a lower percentage of intensity. So I can gain hypertrophy and I can get some strength out of it without having to put massive load onto my legs. So I'm gonna do the straight leg raises now, then I'll throw the hip circle on and I'll do my glute bridge variations and then I'll get into the squats. Now all the while I'm gonna keep these on because I still wanna maintain that blood flow in this area, in the quads and the, and the hamstrings in general. So the more I dorsiflex my foot here, the more I can straighten out my leg and get into that full knee extension. I'm squeezing the quad as I come up. Obviously I have a little bit of atrophy here. You can see the difference between my left and my right leg, but it is what it is, a work in progress. Now I'm still driving the back of my knee into the ground here with the other leg. So I'm maintaining that knee extension while I do this. Sideways now, I'm gonna get into a little bit of extension of the hip, internal rotation, drive up. Gotta work that glute. straight, drive up, squeeze in a thigh. Good side. Hold to the back. Throwing the hip circle now. I'm gonna hit glute bridges. First one I'm gonna do is just a straight, ordinary hip bridge or glute bridge. And then from there, I'm gonna go into an extension of the leg. 
and holding in a pause position, making sure I can get full extension of the knee, but also maintain stability of my hips. Here we go. While I'm bridging up, I'm pushing away my knees and pushing it into the band. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, bridge up, I'm gonna maintain balance on the uh, on the knee that was that had surgery on it, and I'm gonna straighten out the other leg. Here we go. Make sure my knee doesn't valgus. Pushing away from that band, pushing in into uh, into the band itself, trying to stretch it out, and pushing away from both knees. I'm gonna go ahead and do some double banded TKE squats. I still have the BFR cuffs on. I have the belt squat on. Again, I'm loading the hips and a little bit of traction. I can walk with it a little bit on the, on the rest periods. But the main focus now is to go ahead and get into that knee flexion. But I am gonna go ahead and try to get a squat pattern going. Again, this isn't new. I've been doing this since about three weeks out. I have the bands here to cue that knee extension. I'm gonna do 30 reps. Then I'm gonna break, do some marching for 30 seconds, then back on again for 15 reps, and then another 15 reps. Mm. Mm. here I'm just tractioning out my hips allowing the uh, the belt to pull my hips down as I lay my leg off the ground in an open chain so every time I go to rock back and forth get a little bit of traction again I still got that blood trapped in the working in the legs itself so my legs are burning right now we got some lactate accumulation building up so there is some metabolic stress going on. But again, the, the load is light. So again, I'm not putting myself in a bad position. Now I'm gonna go for 15 reps here. Here we go. Right now, there's a whole lot of blood pumped. Right now, into my legs, I can feel it. Not a whole lot of pain, so that's good. Of course, there's gonna be something there because we did take the patella tendon, so it's gonna take a while for me to get away from that, almost like a tendonitis pain. But again, I'm not putting myself in a bad position. It's, again, it's very light load, so it's okay. Last set, here we go. So now I'm gonna finish up with some reverse hypers. Now I'm not gonna load the reverse hyper because I'll get too much of that tibia glide, especially when my, my ankles are fixed and pulling down. So again, we don't wanna put too much stress there, um, but I am just gonna do it with no weight and I'm gonna do an isometric pause at the top end and I'm gonna do it with a unilateral, uh, unilateral work. So it's gonna be single leg basically. So single leg, I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna hold for a three count, bring it back down, do it again, three count, back down. I'm gonna do 10 reps, 
each leg. So I'm gonna go alternate legs. So three seconds down, other leg, other leg, three seconds down. Do that for uh, for ten reps. Let's go. If you want to learn more protocols and methods that I use for my athletes and myself, you can check out the mentorship down in the link in the description. Mentorship course where I go over all the details. That's a coaching course and you'll get a cert certification at the end of it. Again, you'll have access for life. So again, very good deal. Check it out in the link in the description if you want to hop on board. So that's a wrap, uh, finished up. This is something that I usually do two times a week to get my body back ready for full go, I guess you would say. The process continues, the progress continues. Follow along if you like it, let me know, hit the like button. Make sure you hit the comments if you have any questions. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so, hit the notification so you know when my videos come out. See you again next time, peace.